Next, you're going to connect your domain to your funnel and to your website. And then after that, you're essentially ready to go live. You can start taking this funnel and pushing it to your social media, to your email, to your whatever other marketing platform that you are using. You're going to click here and go to settings, domains, and click connect an existing domain. So go ahead and type in uh, what your domain is. We have one called Digital Course Revolution we hope to use very soon. And click connect domain. It's going to give you a couple on entries. I almost said entrees. I must be hungry. <laughs> And so you're going to do an A record and a C name record. Let me show you exactly what that means if you don't have experience connecting your DNS. So DNS might sound scary to you if you've never done any of this before, but it's actually really easy. You, every website provider is going to look a little different. We use iPage right now. You might use GoDaddy, you might use Bluehost, you might use one from not from America that I don't know. And so once you go into your domain, you're going to look for an option that says something along the lines of DNS and name servers. Um, the records usually will say DNS. And so they're going to have name servers and records. You're going to go here and you're going to change or add an at record for the A, and A, the at, if it has an at name for the A record, you're going to change that. And then you're going to add a C name with www. So essentially at also means www. It just means at the domain name. And if you already have one that exists, you're going to replace it. So I already have an A record that has an at symbol. So I'm going to replace that value with this one. And so you can just copy it and edit it and paste it in right there. The name will be at, the IP address will be this one. It's going to be a type A. Now what we want to do is add a C name. So I click the plus button to add. And under type, you'll have C name. Yours might look completely different than this, and that's totally okay, but it's essentially going to say the same thing. So we want it for the host or the name, www, and the value is going to be digitalcoursrevolution.com. So we just paste it in the content, and the name will be www. No doc. And then click Add DNS. Sorry, this is my dog snoring in the background. Of course, she wants to ruin my video. Sometimes, like this one's having me pick a time to live. So go ahead and pick whatever it is that you want. I usually pick the smallest one and click Add DNS. And after that, you should be live. If you need any help with this, because I know it can be weird, please go down to the bottom right and click on this chat bubble. Say you have a question, and I will literally answer within like a minute. I'm always sitting here. 